Hey everybody, Alex Kazora, SteelersDepot.com, back with the Pittsburgh Steelers preview and pick in week two as the Steelers will host the New England Patriots for their home opener at Acrisure Stadium. Are you used to it yet? Uh, Sunday at one o'clock. Let's give a quick preview of this game and I will make my pick for this weekend's contest as well. New England's offense obviously struggled mightily in week one against the Dolphins, losing 20-7, but I think they really want to get back to the run game roots and work off play action based on a stronger and more effective and more consistent run game. They fell behind the second half against Miami and really had to, to abandon a lot of their play action and things like that. When it comes to New England's run game, they got two really good, powerful backs and Damian Harris from Andre Stevenson. They should basically split snaps. Stevenson play more on passing downs, especially now that Ty Montgomery is on IR due to a knee injury. Stevenson, though, while he's a big back, he's got really quick, light feet. I was a big fan of him coming out of Oklahoma, and so that's a guy to certainly be reckoned with. Conceptually, the biggest thing to worry about when it comes to the Patriots is their outside perimeter run game. Uh, they run as much crack toss and you know those kind of plays as, as basically any team in football. And so for Pittsburgh, their crack replace rules are going to be really important in terms of whenever the safety gets cracked by tight end or receiver, that cornerback has to replace the run fit. And so Pittsburgh's corners, the outside guys, are going to play a really important role in terms of setting the edge and probably making some one-on-one tackles in space, again, against those big backs like Harris and like Stevenson. The good news is Pittsburgh generally has good, you know, tackling corners. Akella Witherspoon is the biggest weak link of that group, but he's improved and his physicality has uh, grown in his time in Pittsburgh, really, since he came out of Colorado. He was a, a dreadful tackler at Colorado. He's improved slowly and steadily throughout his career, but I imagine they're going to test Witherspoon primarily at that left corner spot, so tosses to the right to really test if he can make some of those open field tackles on their big back. So if Pittsburgh can do that and play stout and flow against some of those uh, crack toss and toss games in general, that'll be really key and go a long way to Pittsburgh controlling this game. When it comes to the pass game, obviously the Patriots really weren't all that potent in week one. Mac Jones dealing with a back issue as well, but he'll play in this game. They got a couple of big receivers in Jacoby Myers. Kendrick Bourne only played two snaps last week and had one catch for 41 yards. And so he's a guy that's going to certainly play more when you score only seven points and you have one of your better receivers on the bench. He got in Matt Patricia's doghouse for some, I think he was late to a meeting. And so they're going to play him more this week because they need the offensive output. Um, that's going to be a, a concern there is dealing with Kendrick Bourne, uh, certainly more than what he did in week one against Miami. They got a couple of decent tight ends as well in Jonu Smith and, and Hunter Henry. Those guys have not been quite as impactful as I think they would have liked them to, to be so far, but they're tight ends that can get vertical and really present some matchup problems against Pittsburgh. The Patriots run a lot of two-by-two two, um, twin sets. So we'll have two receivers to one side and two tight ends to the other, and uh, that's going to create some matchup problems and issues for Pittsburgh because they don't travel their corners. They may get a safety on a receiver. They may have to walk out an outside linebacker. They may have to play a bit more zone overall, and they may get some one-on-ones on the backside or really the strong side with the two tight ends that are on linebackers potentially in space. And so that's the concern there in terms of the skill guys. For the Patriots offensive line, I think it's a good group overall. It's probably not as good as it once was, but Trent Brown's a really big and I think an effective left tackle when he's healthy overall. Alex Highsmith will have a a good test this week coming off his three-sack performance in week one. Certainly a matchup to watch. It's going to be rookie left guard Cole Strange, their first-run pick from UT Chattanooga against Cam Hayward. Uh, my concern is that they're going to slide more help to Strange with center David Andrews to really double Cam Hayward now that TJ Watt is certainly not in the picture and um, isn't a threat that, that he would be if he was out there, of course. And so that's my worry there. But Hayward on Strange. Hayward you know, dominated the rookie Cordell Volson in week one. What can he do against Strange? How do the Patriots match up against him there? That's going to be one of the key matchups to watch. Flipping over to the Patriots defense. It's a good defense overall. Really strong, stout players at all three levels. It's a strong pass rush. Matthew Judon, Pittsburgh knows him from the Baltimore days. He had a really good week one. A sack, four quarterback hits. Dietrich Wise had a sack and forced fumble. Um, they got a strong deep rotation, which is pretty typical for them. They're a bit of a hybrid front, a lot of four man kind of even looks overall, but guys can play hand up and hand down. There's some versatility there off ball linebacker. They got a guy I really like in Juwan Bentley, really an old school linebacker, bigger, stronger downhill thumper kind of guy. Someone that was 
a pending free agent I was personally pretty interested in. Uh, he led the team with seven tackles last week. He does have a toe injury, but I think he's going to play uh, in this game. Um, he's going to be somebody to worry about in terms of the run game, but you can pass on him. So again, the way that it was an issue, or when I talked about the Patriots offense, their tight ends against Pittsburgh's linebackers can... The Steelers' tight ends, Pat Frymuth, of course, in particular, take advantage on some play pass stuff to get behind Juwan Bentley. Um, that's going to be interesting. Again, same with New England. Their play action is probably going to be used quite often in this game. The Bengals use play action effectively against Pittsburgh in week one uh, to get the linebackers to step up and throw behind on some of the 10, 15 yard uh, in cuts. And so, uh, really, what team uses play action more effectively may be the ultimate victor in this game. And rounding things out with the Pats secondary. Good veteran group. They did lose their top corner in J.C. Jackson. He's playing in L.A. right now, but Jonathan Jones may travel with Deontay Johnson, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. They went a lot of three-safety stuff with the veteran McCourty, who's 35 and still going strong. Adrian Phillips and Kyle Duggar uh, from Lenore Ryan is a really impactful box kind of guy and a really big hitter overall. They play the run well. They don't allow stuff to the outside. Uh, they mix man and zone. They pattern match, and so there's not a lot of obvious tells and stuff, and it's obviously a well-coached team by Bill Belichick. So um, it's a stout group overall. They only allowed 13 points to Miami. The other seven came off of the, a sack fumble. Uh, the, the offense gave up the Miami nickel corner, came off the edge and and, and sacked, uh, strip sacked Mac Jones and returned it for a touchdown. So uh, the defense for New England was was really good in week one. All right, for my prediction, and I'm 0-1 on the year, as you guys reminded me of, and rightfully so after picking the Bengals in week one, I think you'll like my pick a bit more this time. I'm going Pittsburgh 20, New England 16. A lot of field goals in this game. That's kind of my vibe of it. Um, If the Steelers can take care of the football, get some pressure, and stop the run, I think they can do all those those things, then I think they win this game. Really just overall keys, which team can establish the run more. Obviously, that'll be a challenge for Pittsburgh with Najee Harris, not 100%, and the issues they had last week against a stout Patriots front, but I was impressed and encouraged by the steps Pittsburgh's run defense took Playing at home, I think the offense will be better. They won't be 4-15 on third down. They've taken care of the football overall. Uh, the defense was really swarming, even minus TJ Watt. They can still get pressure. They can still attack the football. So it'll be a close game. A lot of field goals, obviously, but I'm going to go with Pittsburgh to take the win. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Appreciate you guys watching. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Again, thank you for listening and watching, and we'll talk to you soon.